Welcome back to Star Wars Fans to episode 16 uh, of Ronald's Reviews and today we're going to talk about uh, a few hints and tips on anybody who is thinking about starting their own uh, Star Wars action figure collection. Now these are just a few hints and tips that I've picked up along the way whilst I've been collecting uh, a few experiences that I've had uh, and hopefully these tips will help anyone thinking of starting out avoid any negative experiences and enjoy and have fun uh, during their time collecting. Cue the match. So tip number one everybody, research. Just before you start collecting, once you've decided the line or lines you want to collect, do a week or two of researching that line. Figure out what sort of prices to go for on eBay, places like that, um, and just do a little bit of research on what sort of prices you should be paying. Um, certain characters in whichever line you collect will bring more money than others. Certainly, if like me, you start collecting the vintage line, uh, the first 12 or the last 17 will cost you significantly more than any characters that came in between. Uh, but just do a brief bit of research before you start. I understand that once you've realised what line you want to collect, you want to get going, but it really will help. Uh, as well as get something um, to refer to, get a hard copy of something. So whether that's printed documents online or, or a book like myself. Uh, this is the book I picked up. So this um, goes through all the vintage lines. Uh, it has the Kenner lines from 78 to 84, as well as the Power of the Force lines. Uh, from the mid 90s uh, and it goes through every single character you can think of every different variation of that character what accessories they should come with uh, and all the different variations of the card back uh, i can't tell you since i started collecting how many times that has stopped me from from making a mistake um, i would suggest you do that just until you feel your knowledge is at a level where you can make these decisions without without referring to anything okay tip number two everybody budget in now, I know more than anybody that once you get into toy collecting, um, it can sometimes get out of control. So try not to overspend. Uh, set a budget each month or each week whenever you get paid. Set a budget and stick to it. This is a hobby, your pastime, it's meant to be enjoyable and fun, uh, not stressful. And obviously, if you get into bidding wars and things like that with people on eBay, um, you start to pay more than what you should for certain things. And then before you know it, you, uh, you could be in trouble. So you certainly don't want to put yourself into any sort of financial difficulty just for your hobby. So set a, an amount of money aside each month or each week and do your best to stick to it. So tip number three everyone, there are no rules to toy collecting. You collect how you want, what you want, when you want, there are no rules. Um, so if you want to collect loose figures, um, carded figures, uh, reproduction weapons and accessories or genuine weapons and accessories, if you want to collect loose figures and then like me, restore them and recard them yourself, it is your collection and yours alone. You decide what you collect and how you collect it. Once you get into collecting, you may come across certain uh, articles and certain people that try to dictate what you collect um, based on your financial status. If, like me, you're not a rich man, uh, you have to collect in accordance to your budget. But there are no rules. You collect how you want, what you want, and enjoy the experience. And finally, tip number four, everyone. Enjoy it, have fun. At the end of the day, this is your pastime, your hobby and your passion. It should be enjoyable, not stressful. I like to sort of collect loose figures, um, restore them and recard them, as well as now I've branched out into more modern figures, as you can see with the black series in front of me, as well as a few vintage figures at the bottom there. Um, enjoy it though. I try to see the collecting community as one big happy family and treat everybody as such. Um, you may find, once you get into it, that there will be certain purists out there who will try and dictate what you should and shouldn't be collecting and what you should and shouldn't be doing. Ignore it all. Have fun. We are one big family and you'll find most people embrace anything that you're collecting. So just enjoy it. Have fun, guys. And I'll see you out there. So I hope you found that um, video helpful, guys. If you are looking at starting your collection, I hope you got some helpful hints and tips that will help you um, once you start your collection. Um, as always, um, please consider leaving a like and subscribe, it really does help the channel. Um, obviously leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, I try my best to answer everybody. Uh, so please leave any comments for me and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, and as always everyone, keep collecting. See you on the next video.